Okay, everybody, we're here to do some balance beam work. And I would guess that the majority of people do not have a balance beam at home. So what you can do is you can grab a roll of tape and just make yourself a straight line to work on. Okay, you don't really need a balance beam. If you have one, then that's great. But if not, you just need a line to work on. So the first thing that we're gonna do is hands on your hips. And we're just gonna practice walking down the line. Pretty easy, and when you do the gymnastics, you always wanna stand up nice and tall and keep your eyes on the other end of your line or your beam. You don't wanna look down where your feet are. You always wanna keep your eyes on the far end of the line. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is some point walks and we'll go nice and slow because we wanna show you the, how you stop with your toes pointed and then you put your foot down and then you point the other foot and put it down and the other and you keep going all the way down the beam. These are called point walks. And like always, you're gonna stand up nice and tall. Make sure your chin isn't falling down. Make sure your chin is up nice and tall. Your chest is up nice and tall. And your eyes are on the far end of your line or your beam. Good. The next thing that we're gonna do is coupe walks. So let's show the coupe position is when you pull one foot up and you point your toes to your ankle. And then you straighten that leg out that's just looks just like the point walk and put it down and do the other leg coupe straight step coupe straight step coupe straight step and you want to just keep doing this all the way down the beam take your time we're not in a hurry stand up tall okay and we'll do it back Remember your toes are pointed. If you're not standing on your feet, then you're pointing your feet. Eyes all the way on the other end of the beam. Good, we're gonna try that again, except this time it's gonna be a passe. And when you do a passe, then you pull that leg up and you point your toes right at your other knee. And then you extend and step, passe, extend and step, all the way down, keeping your chest up and your chin up, good posture, eyes all the way at the end of the beam or your line. There we go, all the way down, good. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do um, are just some jumps. So hands are on the hips and we're going to bend and jump. Good, and when you land, you always wanna bend your knees and keep your chest up. So bend your knees and your chest is up tall. Bend your knees, chest is up tall. Good, and then we'll turn around and do that back. Bend, jumped, good, whoops. Good. Good, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna balance in releve. So Coach Haley's gonna step and lock her feet up in releve or she's gonna just push up, there we go. See how close her feet are together and how she's pushing up as high as she can. And we're gonna hold that for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And what makes this easier um, is if you keep your legs straight and you stand up nice and tall and you squeeze your booty muscles. If you bend forward at all or drop your head, then it might pull your weight forward and you might start wobbling. So we're going to do that one more time. Notice how nice and tall she's standing and her body stays in a straight line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this time we're gonna do releve walks down the line. Here we go, all the way up on your toes. Again, legs are straight, body is straight, 
chest is up, chin is up. She has good posture. She's going to turn around and do it back. Don't let your body lean forward. You have to stay up nice and tall. Good job. And we're just going to do a couple more things. Um, I'll have Coach Haley come to the middle of her line, and we are going to do an arabesque. So what you want to do is you want to put your arms out to the side, and you want to put your favorite foot in front and take the back foot and point it. See how it's, she's just standing. She's in position right now. Her chest is tall. Her chin is up. Her arms are out to the side, nice and tight. Look at her front leg is very straight. And her back leg is also straight. And she's able to balance here. She's just ready. And now she's going to lift her back leg up without moving her chest. This is called an arabesque. And it's a balance move. In many of our competitive routines, they have to just hold this position. And again, bottom leg is straight and body is tall. And then she returns to her starting position by putting her back foot pointed back on the floor. And we're going to do that again. Hold it for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Good job. That's an arabesque. Very good. Now we're going to get down and sit down and we're going to do a V-sit on the beam. When you're on the balance beam, you can grab onto it. So your hands go behind you and your hands kind of make a butterfly on the beam. Your thumbs and the uh, thick part of your hand is on top of the line or on top of the beam. And then usually you can wrap your fingers around the beam and hang on to it. Um, and then Coach Haley's got her chest up nice and tall and her chin up nice and tall because you don't want your body to be round on this. You want it to be nice and straight. And she's going to lift her feet up and make the letter V. And so her elbows are actually not touching. She's holding herself up. And we're going to count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And she can bend her knees and relax. And then we're going to do it one more time. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if she was on the beam, she would need to get up. So she can take one leg and curl it under and step forward. Whoa, there we go. Okay, and that's your beam workout for today.